So now we're gonna talk about ventilation and maybe more importantly, airflow. Super important. First off, ventilation. Primarily what I recommend using is gonna be what's called a wet wall. If you're a greenhouse grower, a totally, you know, a totally enclosed, we're not talking high tunnels here, but an actual greenhouse grower where you're fully enclosed, you have to have a ventilation system. The most common one and the most uh, economically effective type of ventilation is called wet wall cooling, where you're gonna have a matrix on one side of this stuff that looks kind of like a honeycomb, and you're gonna have water pouring over it constantly. So you're gonna have a submersible pump and a, an additional reservoir that's gonna kick on and, and run water over that honeycomb and keep it damp. And then you're gonna have vents on the other side, exhaust vents that are gonna open up you can hook these up to a timer and or you can hook them up to a thermostat, which is what I recommend. So when it gets too hot in your greenhouse, you're gonna have air, it's gonna pop open and those vent ventilation fans are gonna suck air through that honeycomb-like matrix and it's gonna give you cooling. That's a lot more effective than, than running AC. I, I know, I'm, we're sitting here in this greenhouse and we use air conditioning. We're a very different situation than most. Now, let's also, in addition, talk to talk about airflow, because this is very important. No matter what crop you're, you're doing, if it's microgreens, if it's tomatoes, if it's vine crops, if it's especially leafy greens, getting the airflow right is very important. For a long time, most people used horizontal fans, and you would usually have maybe four in all corners, where you're trying to just create a, a total circulation of the air nonstop. Um, or at least during the daylight hours. And now there's a current trend, the downward facing fans, and we like them. Um, and the reason why, especially for lettuce heads, um, that, that's great. If you can move the moisture, the, the moisture vapor off of that lettuce head, it's gonna prevent a problem called tip burn. Tip burn is where calcium cannot get to the tips of the plants, and it'll actually leave like a black, wound, for lack of a better word, or black damage at the tip of the, uh, of the lettuces, which is unsightly and it can cause mold and other issues and it's nothing you're going to be able to sell. So you need to work on eliminating that and that's the way to do it. Same thing with, with, with microgreens. Ventilation is equally important there. In a big sunny open space like we have here at the Big Tex Urban Farms, it's not that bad. We have the AC units, we have heaters, we have fans all over the place, so the air is moving around. So we're able to get away with not having individual fans on our microgreens racks, but in a lot of cases you may. Um, and that's gonna prevent mold issues, um, mold and different rots that can come up. So you may need to have the, the little fans that attach to each individual shelf that are gonna move air across the top of the crop. Keep, them, keep the tops dry, um, especially if you're employing bottom watering, which we recommend highly, uh, especially for microgreens, but even your starter plants. But as long as you're doing that, that's going to help keep the, keep the tops dry and free of mold. So airflow is a critical factor. So another factor, especially on microgreens or your juvenile plants, the airflow can also help uh, out with insect pressure. That's another IPM measure right there. So if you've got the airflow uh, moving all the time, uh, the insects have a hard time getting in there and getting set up, so it's another kind of pest preventative measure too. So again, the airflow is something you're going to need to factor in when you're getting set up.